you worked in a newsroom. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. What was that like? What I mean, a lot of folks won't be able to relate or talk to somebody who's actually worked in an actual. I know it was local news mm -hmm. for wherever you work. Where, where did you work? Okay, so I, I jokingly refer to it as my tour of duty um, because when you work in news, you tend to move around a lot in order to move up um, in position and, and in station size. And so I, while I was still a Chippewa up at CMU, I started working at WLNS in Lansing. So got my start here in Lansing. From there, I went to WNEM in Saginaw for for actually not even a few years. I was there for a short time and then graduated from college, went off to Richmond, Virginia for a few years, jumped from there to the 13th largest market in the country, which is Minneapolis, was there for five years, went from there to Indianapolis, so one Apolis to another, <laughs> getting slowly closer to home and was there for a few years and then decided at that point that my time in the fast-paced pressure cooker environment was coming to an end. I always knew that I wasn't gonna do it forever. I decided that, okay, what's what's the next step? I wanted to be back in Michigan for the first time since leaving. I was like, nah, I really wanna be back in Michigan. Those pure Michigan commercials get to mm -hmm. you, families here. So moved back to Michigan and actually ended my career, my TV career, the same station where I started at WLNS in Lansing. So a 12 year span, um, several stations, several states. Well, I mean, and a lot of folks, they usually relate to the on-air personalities. This is the one that jumping around and they're going from station to station. What did you do? Yeah, good question. So I was a producer um, for several years and then I was an executive producer for the majority of my career. So that in short means that I was somewhere between the person you see on camera and the janitor, right? Like who really knows what a producer does? Um,